Amen, amen. What a blessing it is that we have the opportunity to share the word of the Lord, Brother Herb. What a privilege. What an honor. And we're so glad. We're so glad. Amen. Now, are you ready to hear some word this morning? I've got some for you. I think I may have some help. <laughs> I think I better have some help. <laughs> and I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. I, I want to share some things with you that no matter who you are or where you are, oh man, in your walk with God, you need to hear this. Amen. Because it ain't Brother Gross's word, it's, it's the word of the Lord. It's God's word. Wonderful, precious, glorious, powerful Amen. word of God. Mm. So I want to share some things with you. God bless you, everyone that's tuned in by radio and television. We're so glad to have you. I'm glad of everything that the Lord is doing in our lives. Praise God. I know that God has a plan for your life. It's just if, if we can get to the point where we can get to know Him and let Him share that with us and, and have His work His plan in our life and His will can be done. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen? Right here stands a person that never at one time and would have never, ever considered or thought that I'd be standing behind a camera or anywhere as far as that goes of preaching the gospel. No, no way, no how. I don't believe you could have paid me enough money. There just ain't no way. But you know what? God has a plan for people's lives. I didn't know it. Do now. I have known it for some time. But do, do you know there's people all over the place today that they don't know God has a plan for their life? Right. They just don't know it. Amen. And I don't care who you are. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be a deacon or you don't have to be somebody that works in, you know, in the ministry wise. You don't have to be that. It's God wants you to know Him. Period. I don't care who you are. You could be the, you know, as the body's concerned, and Paul explained the body, you could be the little toenail. <laughs> it wouldn't make no difference. You're in the body. You should have known. Amen. And he's so good, we want to know him. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer, and then we're going to get into some word. Father, we thank you this morning. We bow our hearts before you. And Lord, we give you the glory and the praise and the honor. And thank you for speaking to our hearts. Thank you for the word coming today by the help of the Holy Spirit. We'll not do it without him. Wouldn't want to try. And so your will be done. Here's the body, Lord, and bless us. Help us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now I will to hear this morning. Myself. I will to hear what these words are going to say to me. Because what these words are saying to me, they're saying to you. What they're saying to you, they're saying to everybody. Glory to God. Amen. Now, let's start. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll try to run through this. I don't want to hold this too off long. Uh, Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4. Now that might be a hard little book for you to find. If you happen to see Joel, Daniel, you're pretty close. <laughs> it's right after the book of Daniel. 
Because <laughs> it's, it's not a big book and you'll, you'll overlook it. Amen. Now this is something we've heard many a time, but let's hear it. Maybe let's try to hear it fresh this morning. How about that? Good. Now, Hosea 4, chapter 4, verse 6. Now, and we've heard this scripture quoted, and if you haven't, you should. It says, the King James Version says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, and because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Well, that's pretty... Yes, it is. 